All right, so this video I'm going to go over how to determine your boost based just on map KPA. <clears throat> I've got it here and I've got it here. Now, I want to know this. For the pass that I made last night that I ran a, a 1023 at a 128 mile an hour, I want to know exactly how much boost I made. Now, this ain't the, the log that I made that pass on, but I'm just showing you all where you can put it at in, in, in the scanner on HP tuners. But um, So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our time slip. 610, 20, 23, uh, 22, 16, that's military time. That's 10, 16 regular time. 10, 16 p.m. is when we made the run. So I come here to airdestinyonline.com and it has usually all this information for the majority of the tracks across the United States or um, and so on. So we made that pass at 10 o'clock, June 10th. Uh, the barometric pressure was 29.19. So we come here and we go HG to PCI, just a Google search. And um, we put 29.19. That gives us an atmosphere of 14.33, uh, a perfect, um, a perfect a weather day would be like 14.7, which would be a zero density altitude would put us at like 14.7. I don't know what that is in HG, but but anyway, HG to PSI, uh, you figure out what the barometric pressure was for when you made the pass. You come over here, HD to PSI, so that gives us 14.33. And uh, we'll need this calculator here in a minute. Now, um, now we need to know what what we was at pounds per square inch on the map sensor. So on that 1023 at 128 run, it went up to 155 kPa kilopascals. So that comes out to pounds per square inch. And again, PSI, this one's PSI to kPa, or you can do kPa to PSI. It just pops that up. So we were at 155 which is 22.48. So now we simply just do 22.48 minus what the weather was for the day, um, what the actual pounds per square inch was for the atmosphere that day. So minus 14.33, and we made 8.15 pounds of boost, which is really odd because that's a seven pound spring from my from my understanding, the seven pound springs were should go to seven pounds with um, with you know from the turbo compressor housing going straight to the waste gates and the boost pressure help opening the waste gates through that bottom port on the waste gates should give me seven pounds and then when I disconnect that pressure and it has nothing helping open the waste gates, it should go up to around fourteen pounds. And this, but you know, these are eBay waste gates, and I'm not. It was supposed to come with a seven pound spring and a 14 pound spring. I put the smaller spring in it, assuming it was the seven pound spring, but I don't know. Maybe they just don't work correctly. I don't know. So, uh, the little 5.3 with uh, LS1 intake, uh, BTR stage two turbo cam, and GT45 budget build turbo. That's the brand. Um, it ran 1023 at 128 at 3,550 pounds through a turbo 400 and a 35 spline axles, full spool. So not too bad, but I just wanted to go over how to calculate um, that based off your map pressure and what the actual barometric pressure and pounds per square inch of, of atmosphere, which is actually outside at the time that you run. And I hope that made sense.